for today. The case of Western New York's so-called HIV predator is going to be going to a jury in just a few hours. This is the civil trial for Nushan Williams. He's the man accused of infecting women with HIV in Chautauqua County back in the 1990s. News Force Alina Shapiro joining us now this morning from the newsroom. She's got more for us. Well, Jordan and Diana, basically the jury now has to decide if the state attorney general's office proved there is clear and convincing evidence that Nushan Williams has a mental abnormality that would require him to stay out of our community and get treatment. Nushan Williams, now known as Shaitik Johnson, went to prison in the late 1990s. He completed a 12-year sentence for statutory rape and reckless endangerment three years ago. There will be expert opinions submitted to the jury, and they'll have to sift through it and make a judgment. The state is using a civil confinement law that was enacted in 2007 designed to keep dangerous sex offenders locked up. He was accused of infecting a dozen women in the Jamestown area with HIV. But just weeks ago, Williams' defense attorney, John Nucherino, made a stunning claim based on independent testing. He doesn't have HIV. He can't pass HIV. News 4 legal analyst Terry Connors believes it could play a central role in the case. It will play a pivotal role in the case because under those circumstances, the, the jury will not be able to find the predicate, the, the foundation for the mental abnormality because he's no longer a threat. The state attorney general's office disputes the results and the testing method that was used. So when the jury reaches a decision, if they reach a decision, a couple of things could happen, Jordan and Diana. If they reach a unanimous decision that the prosecution didn't prove their case, Williams will be free immediately. Now, if they can't agree, there is a retrial. But if there are two hung juries, Williams will be released into our community. Nalina Shapiro, News 4 Wake Up.